Hello everybody, welcome to DD118. It is June, June 2012, and June is the great outdoors month. June is a month where you should try to experience the great outdoors. Mother Nature, go hiking, or go canoeing, or go bike riding. Today's new dictation will be about bike riding. It's very simple, I hope. So good luck on that. But first, we need to go back to daily dictation 117, which was very, very difficult. Let's listen again. Ted, I just wanted to ask you, do you believe in an afterlife? Do I what? Yeah. Do you believe in an afterlife? Well, Dougal, generally speaking, priests tend to have a very strong belief in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, I wish I had your faith, Ted. Now, the first thing you need to know is both men are priests. Father Ted and Father Dougal. All right? Father Ted is the older guy. Father Dougal is the younger guy. They're both Catholic priests. This is a situation comedy. And Dougal, the younger priest, asks, Ted, I just wanted to ask you, do you believe in an afterlife? Ted, I just wanted to ask you, I just wanted to ask you, I just want... Now, the S can kill the T. There are three strong sounds. The strong sounds are the S, N, L, and the weak sounds are the D, T, and TH. And many times, especially in American English, these sounds can cancel these sounds. And that's what happens. The S cancel. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to ask you. I just wanted to ask you. Wanted to. Wanted to ask you. We don't say to, it's more of a t. Now, the Irish pronunciation wanted to ask you, but the American pronunciation wanted to ask you. Wanted to. Here, the N kills the T. So the S and the N are both killing the T. For American. For American pronunciation, I just wanted to ask you. I just wanted to ask you. A little bit more Irish, I just wanted to ask you. The T's are easier to hear. So what does this mean? I have a question. Ted, excuse me. Ted, may I ask a question? Ted, I have a question. Ted, I just wanted to ask you. Do you believe in an afterlife? Do you believe in an afterlife? In, N. And remember, the pronunciation is N, like engine, engine. Do you believe in? Do you believe in N? Do you believe in an afterlife? What is an afterlife? It's one word, one word. Afterlife, well, most religious people believe in an afterlife. After your life, after you live, after you die, then what happens? Maybe you go to heaven. If you've been evil, you'll go to hell. Uh, some people believe in reincarnation. They die, and then they're born again. Sometimes they come back as a human. Sometimes they come back as a flower. Maybe a kitty cat. Or maybe a toad or something not good. I guess toads are okay. So this is the afterlife. What happens after we die? Ted, do you believe in an afterlife? This is a crazy question. Dougal, Dougal, where is his name? Here's his name. Dougal is a priest. Of course he should believe, and Ted should believe in an afterlife. They talk to people about the afterlife 
every church ceremony? It's a stupid question. Remember, Dougal's IQ, 75. So Ted, Father Ted is, what? Do I what? Do I what? What did you say? I'm sorry. What? Do you believe in an afterlife? Do you believe in an afterlife? Well, Dougal. Well, Dougal. This was difficult. Well, Dougal. Dougal. Hey, Dougal. Generally speaking, generally speaking, usually, in general, most of the time, priests tend to have, usually have, usually have a very strong belief in the afterlife. So, now this is important. An afterlife, what kind of afterlife? Reincarnation, going to heaven, uh, what else? Coming back as a flower, what kind? And he says, the afterlife. So, if you're Catholic, if you're uh, Muslim, if you're Islam, it, it, whatever religion you are, you have a specific afterlife you imagine, correct? So, as a priest, it's not a, uh, it's not an afterlife, it's the afterlife. So, Dougal, come on. As a priest, we should believe very strongly in an afterlife, in the afterlife. Okay? And Dougal says, boy, wow, boy, wow, man, I wish I had your faith, Ted. What? I wish I had your faith. Now, what is faith? Does faith mean the Catholic Church? Catholicism? Actually, I wish I had your conviction. Actually, I wish I had your strong heart. Your strong heart. Your strong belief. Wow. You, Father Ted, are convinced. You believe very strongly. <laughs> I wish I had your conviction. I wish I had your faith. This is a great expression. And this expression does not have to mean religion. So, for example, a mother and a father. They're worried about their son. Oh, our son has a test tomorrow. Don't worry. He'll be fine. He's a smart boy. Oh, I wish I had your faith. I wish I could believe that as strongly as you do. Do you think you will become a master of the English language? I think you will. I believe in you. And hopefully you have the same faith as me. Hopefully you have as much faith in you as I have in you. You keep coming to Daily Dictation and after a while, you will also be very good at English, especially English listening and hopefully speaking too. Okay? So, this is a little bit difficult, but the words, if you read it, it's not bad. So, listen two more times. Listen carefully and after you can hear everything, then try to say it. And remember, you don't have to use an Irish accent or a British accent. You can use whatever accent you want. But do your best to shadow. Shadowing is good. Do you know about shadowing? Saying it together with the characters. Good luck! Ted, I just wanted to ask you, do you believe in an afterlife? <laughs> do I what? Yeah, do you believe in an afterlife? Well, Dougal, generally speaking, priests tend to have a very strong belief in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, I wish I had your faith, Ted. Ted, I just wanted to ask you, do you believe in an afterlife? <laughs> do I what? Yeah, do you believe in an afterlife? Well, Dougal, generally speaking,
priests tend to have a very strong belief in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, I wish I had your faith, Ted. Okay, it's time for Daily Dictation 118. As I said, in America, June is the great outdoors month. The month when Americans should go outside and enjoy Mother Nature. So my question for you is, if you have the chance to enjoy the great outdoors, what do you like to do? What is your preference? Today's dictation is about bicycling. It's pretty short. It's pretty easy. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you get 100%. Good luck on the dictation, and I'll say hello to the new subscribers at the end of the video. These young mountain bikers are spending their afternoon racing on the trails. These young mountain bikers are spending their afternoon racing on the trails. These young mountain bikers are spending their afternoon racing on the trails. These young mountain bikers are spending their afternoon racing on the trails. Okay, we've got a bunch of new subscribers today from Italy. Grazie to Bitagli. Bitagli75, thank you very much. From the U.S., Black Superman. 170 black superman all right flying high faster than a uh speeding bullet able to leap tall buildings in a single bound superman ba 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 congratulations thank you very much for joining my channel from egypt shukran to anagi anaji anaji 2011 thank you very much for joining my channel from brazil obrigado to Herb Moreas. Moreas seems like a common name. Is that a common name in Brazil? Is it Moreas? I hope the pronunciation is correct. Thank you very much. From the U.S. again, Hong Xing Du. Hong Xing Du. Thank you very much. Sure, sure. Can I say that? From Germany, Danke Shane. <laughs> Thank you very much to Crazy IP IC IQ. Crazy Ipikiku. Are you crazy? Me too, a little bit. I'm a little loco. Uh, the next person, I don't know which country this person is from. Paris, zero, 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 up. So I'm thinking France, maybe? I saw the name Mubarak. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Mexico, Daniel. D -d -d Daniel. Gracias. Thank you very much for joining. From Indonesia, Indonesia, we have Terry Indonesia. Ah, oh, I forgot my Indonesian. Turi Makashi. Something like that. Thank you very much for joining. From Canada, Taobo, Taobo, 1967. All right, me too, 1967. Is that your year? It's my year too. It's a good year. It's a damn good year. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Turkey, ah, and I know the Turkish thank you is very difficult, but thank you very much for joining my channel to Yasino Zanful. Yasino Zanful, thank you very much. From Russia, Spaziba, to Timmins78. Hello, Timmins, thank you very much for joining. From Spain, gracias, to Monza Clau, Monza Clau, Mon Monza Clau. Thank you very much for joining my channel again from Egypt. Shukran to Am um, Amdikum. Um, um, Thank you very much for joining my channel. I don't know the next country. Sasso. I can't read my writing. Is it L A M L two M? Uh, twelve M. Sasso twelve M. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Brazil, obrigado to Armesino, Armesino 1, thanks a lot. From Morocco, cool, the Casbah, is that right? I think it's right. 
Uh, Angel94395. Thank you very much, Angel. From Korea, Dehan Minguk, Tekken 0A. Thank you very much, Kam Samnida, for joining my channel. From Taiwan, Sheshe, I think I can say that, to EB Tube. Thank you very much for joining my channel. And from Mexico, gracias to Ian Uriel. Or is it Ian Uriel? Ian Uriel. Ian Uriel. Gracias. Thank you very much. From Vietnam, Cam Ung, Cam Ung to Hedwig298. Thank you. Uh, the next person, I don't know the country, Ken Chiang1720. Thanks a lot, Ken, for joining my channel. And finally, from China, Xie Xie, to Sir Vincent. Sir Vincent, thank you very much for joining my channel. Uh, remember, everybody, if you can, if you have a smartphone, let me get my smartphone. If you have a smartphone, like an iPhone or the Android, go and get this application it's a, it's a little uh you can't see it it's a little h and it's called hallo h a l l o get the application they're going to ask you for your american phone number just find an area code 715 and then three numbers Seven two six seven eight three seven something. So seven one five seven something something, and then four more numbers, two whatever whatever you want. So my recommendation seven one five, or two one eight or four one four, and then three numbers like seven nine two. Seven four three something like that, and then four more numbers, and just put that number there. Don't worry too much about the number; that should work. And then you can download the application. When you download Hello, search for Coach Shane. Coach Shane, that's me, one word. And then send me an audio message. Hello is just like Twitter. Twitter. But you can send a voice message, okay? And I can hear your voice. And maybe you can read Daily Dictation 118 to me through Hallo, and I can see how you did. Okay? So join Hallo. Do it. Only two people. We've got uh, Eric Chan from Taiwan. Thanks, Eric. And uh, I Love Coffee from Korea. Kamsamnida. Only two people have joined me. I'm lonely. Please join me on Hello. H-A-L-L-O. See you next lesson. Bye-bye.